Yes. I will be talking about redesigning a ready LARP. Uh, when I've been uh, doing some reruns for my previous LARPs, uh, this is a statement that I've come across quite a few times. It is easy to do a rerun since the LARP already exists. Is it? <laughs> In this talk, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, is the LARP ready when it's already played shortly? Uh, why should you redesign a LARP that you already run? Why shouldn't you? Some things to consider. And then I will wrap up with talking a little bit about the recent, most recent LARP I have been redesigning during the past six months. Is the LARP ready when it's already played? I think one could argue that LARP is never ready. But it's most likely good enough, often way sooner than you think as a designer, because I think that we all, as designers, always think we can improve something. Why should you uh, redesign a LARP, which you've already run, so it's uh, most likely already been, uh, you've already completed it in, in some regard. Uh, why I uh, redesign LARPs, which I rerun, is to do things that I didn't have time to do. I think we have all been doing a LARP where we have all these cool ideas and then the uh, time comes up and we are like, yeah, it's good enough. We can drop these things. <laughs> and uh, when you do a rerun, you can get back and think about those ideas if they are still something you still want to add. When we are running a LARP, I think everyone uh, looks at the LARP and is like, oh no, this is not working. Uh, that plot's not working. This design choice was a bad one. We will come up with some things that we would like to change. So when we do uh, a rerun, we can change those things. We usually get some feedback from the LARPs we are running. So there might be some things that we were like, yes, this is the best idea ever. And then you get a feedback and you're like, yeah, maybe it wasn't. So you can fix things that others have noticed. Especially if you are planning to do a LARP that's a little bit older. Uh, for com these days, it doesn't need to be that old. It can be the four years old, and it can be really outdated <laughs> at, 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 at the moment. But especially if it's 10 years, 20 years old LARP, you're like, yeah, I want to do this again. There might be some outdated things which we wouldn't be doing today. Uh, and also, if you are doing a LARP which you are planning to do several times, you might, might not have time to make your life easier for the next times in the first time around. But when the majority of the LARP is already written, then you can improve the things that will make your life easier in the following rounds. Why shouldn't you design, redesign? I think that uh, most important question to ask when you're thinking, should I redesign this, is can you fix it with design? Is it something that you can fix by changing something in what you are writing, how you are designing it? Because what doesn't work for one player can be perfect to another, and vice versa. So uh, you, if you have played a LARP, LARP, run a LARP once, you can have one perspective of that plot or that character. Uh, but there can be numerous reasons why it didn't work out for that player that has nothing to do with the design or the writing of the character. Feedback you, you receive, it's always subjective. So you don't know if that plot actually or that character or that design choice might actually work in another circumstances. Also, especially when you have feedback forms, uh, the negative feedback is often louder because when the LARP is done, people are really hyped. They are talking about really good things, uh, what they were really uh, excited about in the LARP. Then they go home and then they think, yeah, but the food was bad. Uh, and, and then they write that in the feedback form. So uh, if you are, uh, because you can't talk all your players, you can't participate all that hype that's going on after the LARP. But then when you go back and read the feedback forms, uh, what you get is the people uh, noticing, yeah, this could have been working better, and then you might be missing a lot of things that actually did work really good, but you just get the negative feedback more louder. 
and your own visibility is also limited. So even if you are uh, looking at your LARP, they're like, yeah, all my players are just sitting in different corners. They are probably really bored, and actually the LARPers are having a really good time. You just can't observe it from uh, outside. So uh, when you are planning whether you should or shouldn't redesign, consider that your own visibility for your product is very limited. And I think the most important question to ask, is it really worth all the work? Some other things to consider. It will be a lot of work to go back <laughs> <laughs> to uh, redesign your LARP or even do some, rewrite few of the characters. It's a lot of work. There will be what was this about moments. Even if it's a LARP you run like a six months ago, you will go back and you're like, well, what was, well, there was something I was planning on here, but I can't remember what it was. Or you read the character and I was like, why is this here? There are also going to be what was I thinking moments when you're uh, returning to your work. You're like, uh, yeah, this probably wasn't the best possible uh, uh, plot, or, or why did I write this thing in this character? And also asking yourself, why do you want to redesign a LARP? What's your goal? What do you want to achieve with that? Which gets us to my uh, last point, uh, which is the latest uh, LARP I've been redesigning. Our writing team of 10 plus people have spent hundreds of hours redesigning and rewriting Odysseus 2024 during the past six months. Was it worth it? <laughs> <laughs> Well, one could argue that it wasn't. This was considered a very good LARP already in 2019 when it was originally played. But uh, I'd say that for me, it was. And these are the following reasons. Um, I think that while it is not the most uh, prominent reason, the expectations are one why I did want to redesign some of this LARP. Uh, the things that were considered good in 2019 uh, might not be as good with the newest expectations that people are having for this LARP today. Uh, it gave us a possibility to revisit our work, do that everything we wanted to do in 2019 but didn't have time to do, although we did come up with a lot of new things we didn't have time to do. <laughs> uh, it allowed us to make fixes we noticed during the runs and got feedback from, uh, both narratively and in individual characters, where there were things that didn't work out. And I think that the most prominent thing what we wanted to do was to use the skills and insights we as designers have accumulated since 2019. It has five years and we've all done, done a lot of other work and we wanted to bring some of that insight also to the new runs of Odysseus. Conclusion. We should do things we enjoy doing. I think that's like true for every LARP <laughs> related thing. So do not redesign a LARP because you feel you have to. Redesign it because you want to. Thank you.